Adaptations in Aquatic Plants Aquatic plants are the plants that grow in water. These plants can be further divided into three types. They are floating plants, fixed plants and underwater plants. Floating plants Floating plants are plants that float freely on the surface of water. They do not have fixed roots and thus are not attached to the bottom of the water body. They show the following adaptations. These plants have light and spongy stems filled with air which help them to float on water. A waxy coating covers the leaves that prevents them from decay. Water lettuce, duckweed and water hyacinth are some floating aquatic plants. Next, fixed plants. Fixed plants have roots that are fixed at the bottom in the mud under water. They show the following adaptations. These plants have flat and broad leaves that help them float on surface of water. Their leaves have waxy coatings that prevent them from rotting. Their stems are long, hollow, light and flexible which help them to bend easily with the flow of water. Their large floating leaves allow them to absorb more sunlight to perform photosynthesis. Lotus and water lily are some fixed plants. Next, underwater plants. Underwater plants are the plants that grow under the surface of water. They are also called submerged plants. They show the following adaptations. These plants have thin and ribbon-like narrow leaves with no stomata. Their stems are flexible and filled with air which helps them to move along the flow of water. Roots fix these plants in the muddy soil. They breathe in and out directly through their body surface. Hydrilla, pondweed and tape grass are some underwater plants. Some interesting adaptations in plants. Insectivorous plants. There are some plants that trap and feed on insects. These plants are very unique and are called insectivorous plants. Their leaves are modified to trap insects. Let us know more about these plants. Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap is a small plant with leaves that attract insects. The leaves have stiff hair along the edges. Whenever an insect touches its hair, the leaf shuts instantly, trapping it inside. The insect dies inside the shut leaf and the plant absorbs the nutrients. Pitcher plant. The pitcher plant has leaves that are modified into a pitcher-like structure with a lid containing fluid. When an insect enters the leaves for fluid, it gets trapped inside. The plant then secretes digestive juices which digest the insect. Non-green plants. There are also some non-green plants that do not have chlorophyll. Since these plants cannot perform photosynthesis, they absorb nutrients from dead plants and animals. Mushroom, molds and Indian pipe are some examples.